at The Home Depot. Judge Judy, weekdays at 5. A suspect wanted for sodomy and rape was arrested earlier today. I'm Danielle Miskell in Laurel County. This news report ahead. Plus, Kentucky lawmakers are taking a closer look at how mental health impacts crime. More on new legislation being put in place straight ahead. And the dry skies continue for now, but the pattern turns much more active late week and through the weekend. We're going to have details on that forecast ahead coming up. Live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 630. Good evening, I'm Marvin Bartley. And I'm Imani Payne. A Laurel County man is behind bars tonight, accused of several sex crimes involving children. The sheriff's office making the arrest within a matter of hours after finding out about the crimes. Daniel Miskell went to Laurel County to find out how deputies were able to act so swiftly. This morning, the Laurel County Sheriff's Office posted a most wanted poster for Brandon Robert Johnson. He's wanted on charges for rape and sodomy. 15 minutes later, they got a call from someone with a tip on his whereabouts. It's out there and uh, it really tears our guys up to investigate these things and, and uh, you know, we go after him. Just yesterday, a laptop was turned into the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. When deputies turned it on and started reviewing its files, they discovered disturbing images. Allegedly, this male subject had had sexual intercourse with a 13-year-old girl, deviant sexual intercourse with a, a girl under the age of 12. Uh, in addition, while we were doing the investigation, we found that uh, the accused was in possession of matter portraying uh, a two-year-old male subject uh, performing sex. They immediately got in contact with 20-year-old Brandon Robert Johnson, but he wouldn't cooperate, so they shared this most wanted photo of him on their Facebook page. Only 15 short minutes later, the sheriff's office got a call with a tip on his whereabouts. We had the information. We found him in a vehicle. We conducted a traffic stop and took him into custody. Deputy Gil Archiardo says this quick arrest is probably an all-time record. 15 minutes is, that's a great turnaround for any police department anywhere. Uh, you know, we have a lot of cases that we investigate on a regular basis. When we get a case such as this, we focus all of our attentions to it because we want to get that individual off the street uh, so it can be safe for everyone out there. Johnson is now booked in the Laurel County Detention Center and he faces multiple charges including sodomy in the first degree, rape in the second degree, and portrayal of sexual performance by a minor under 12. In Laurel County, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. Police are looking for a Jessamine County inmate who walked away from a work release program this morning. 35-year-old Dustin Summy is serving time for drug trafficking. Police say he walked off and a woman named Heather Pratter picked him up in a car. Police say Summy removed a GPS monitor and talked it on First Street in Nicholasville. The two may be driving an older model white Chevy Impala. Police tell us both of Summy's forearms are covered in tattoos. If you see them, contact state or local police. Prosecution by the state attorney general's office leads to indictments and convictions in two separate criminal cases. 53-year-old Caroline Hendy of Laurel County was convicted of defrauding the Kentucky Medical Assistance Program known as Medicaid. An investigation revealed Hendy was fraudulently billing through her eye care business, Ideal Eye Care, and fraudulently collected more than $68,000 by billing for duplicate frames, lenses, fittings, among other items. Hendy was ordered to pay restitution to Medicaid as she awaits sentencing on two felony counts. In a separate case in Muhlenberg County, three adults were indicted on charges related to the distribution and possession of child pornography. 23-year-old Ethan Sparks faces one count of distribution and 26 counts of possession, while 24-year-old Jillian Bledsoe and 23-year-old Justin Gibson both face one count of distribution. Well, the sun stayed out today, and that means temperatures climbed once again. But how much longer will it last? Let's check in with meteorologist Chris Johnson. Yeah, guys, listen, another dry day in store, but after that, it's a much more active pattern that takes over for your Friday, continues through the weekend, and into early next week. But forget about that mess right now. Let's talk about the good stuff. And it's a beautiful evening out there. Lots of blue skies, plenty of sunshine that continues across the Commonwealth. Temperature-wise, warming up because of it. Topping out in the upper 60s here in Lexington right now, still sitting at that high temperature officially at 67 with winds out of the north northwest between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Now temperatures compared to this time yesterday evening running about 5 to 10 degrees warmer 
no complaints, many readings in the 60s right now, still some upper 60s as we kick off this evening, making for a beautiful start, no doubt about it. And when you look at radar, there's no clouds across the area. We're nice and dry, but of course that changes as we look ahead for your Thursday, especially Friday and into the weekend. As far as this evening is concerned, going from those 60s down into the mid 50s through late evening under mainly clear skies, but clouds increase for your Thursday. Rain chances return Friday, and then it's all about showers and storms through the weekend. We're going to talk more about that forecast here in just a bit. Amani. Oh, man. All right, Chris. Thank you. Kentucky State Police hosted its Cover the Cruiser event today. It aims to show support for Special Olympics Kentucky. KSP parked a cruiser at Walmart in Richmond and encouraged Kentuckians to cover it with custom Special Olympics stickers for a minimum donation of $1. State Police specifically, we do an event called Cover the Cruiser. We have the cruiser, as you see behind me over here, and we have these uh, post-its um, which people can donate, minimum of a dollar, and that gets their name on uh, one of these stickers and then which we place on the cruiser. Um, the goal of the event is to cover the cruiser and raise as much money as possible, and at the conclusion of the event, all the proceeds go to the Special Olympics. And as he just mentioned, again, all of the donations will go directly to Special Olympics. The Lexington Police Department is partnering with the DEA for a national prescription drug take back day. The event will take place this Saturday between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. at Kentucky American Water located at 2300 Richmond Road. Items that will be accepted are that day are prescription and over the counter vitamins, medicated ointments, lotions and pet medication. Liquids, aerosol, and needles will not be accepted. Kentucky lawmakers are taking a bigger look at how mental health impacts crime. The General Assembly passed a bill this session to look at possibilities for alternative sentences for those suffering from some disorders. Bodie Brooks explains how it would work. Yeah, Marvin and Imani, talks of reforming Kentucky's bail laws have been ongoing for years. Senate Bill 90 will create a series of pilot programs offering access to mental health care for low-level offenders, even allowing conditional release in the hopes the program can expand statewide. I think it helps catch us up. There are a number of other states that are doing something akin to this. A priority this session for Senator Whitney Westerfield, criminal justice reform. To address mental health needs behind bars, Senate Bill 90 takes a first step. We want to be able to show legislators four years from now from rural parts of the state and urban both, look, this is what we did in your kind of area. It works and we'd like to carry this statewide. The law calls for at least 10 behavioral health conditional release pilot programs. There are locations chosen by the state Supreme Court. Westerfield hopes they represent a variety of Kentucky's communities ready and willing to meet the need. If we put it in a county where the prosecutor is not going to use it, it's a waste. And if we put it in a county where everyone wants to use it, but there's not a good provider system there, it's a waste. Those who'd qualify are a small pool of people. Nothing higher than a Class D felony, low risk to public and low risk for flight. No DUI or violent offenses. There's an argument that there's a lot of the folks in those groups need this sort of intervention too. But we, we understood that we were trying to develop a, a system here or a program that we could show would work. And sometimes you got to take smaller steps to get there. Westerfield says legal and law enforcement stakeholders agree the program could help repeat offenders avoid going back in the system. They may actually stop becoming justice involved individuals. And that makes my community safer and the rest of Kentucky safer. We'd be silly not to give that a try. Now, there's no set timeline for when the pilot counties will be announced. It will take a lot of time to set everything up with the court system and providers. Westerfield says they will likely be announced soon to meet the bill's January 1st start date. Marvin, Monty. Bodie, thank you. The Kentucky Derby is right around the corner. Find out how you can get in on the fun, even if you're not going to be there in person. Plus, watch Fox 56 News no matter where you are. You can now stream live newscasts on the Fox 56 News mobile app and on fox56news.com. Stay with us. Sheldon's Log. I've observed a strange pattern in my personal universe. Five cookies, five baseballs, five stacks of cash, five margaritas. The pattern predicted a great cosmic event to come. Young Sheldon, five times a week. Weeknights at 7 on Fox 56. Be proactive, have absolute services, check your air conditioner before issues arise. A tune-up saves you money by increasing efficiency and preserving the life of your system. Call today for our $59 early bird tune-up. 
2022 equals double the baseball and double the fun. The Lexington Legends and the Wild Health Genomes will both call Wild Health Field home this season. 123 games means more free hot dog Tuesdays, thirsty Thursdays, bark in the parks, giveaway Fridays, and fireworks Saturdays. Come one, come all for a legendary show packed with former Kentucky Wildcats and Major League talent. Grab tickets now at LexingtonLegends.com. You live in a state where cannabis isn't legal. At least, that's what most people think. But here's the thing. Hemp is legal. And hemp is cannabis. And that's why all of our products contain up to 2 milligrams of THC per serving, like our certified organic CBD gummies, Mm -mm. And best of all, we ship directly to your doorstep from our organic farm in Kentucky. So for homegrown cannabis you can trust, visit cornbreadhemp.com. Don't worry, it's legal. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Be proactive. Have Absolute Services check your air conditioner before issues arise. A tune-up saves you money by increasing efficiency and preserving the life of your system. Call today for our $59 early bird tune-up. Know what's coming your way with the Fox 56 seven day forecast from the Weather Authority, sponsored by Fayette Heating and Air. This is Fox 56 News with Marvin Bartlett, Imani Payne, and weather with Chris Johnson. Part of Shinoway Road was closed to traffic this morning as Lexington firefighters investigated a gas leak. Lexington fire officials confirm at around 10 a.m. they were sent out after a contractor nicked a small service line. Shinoway Road was blocked for about 45 minutes as crews investigated. No nearby homes ended up being evacuated and the area was soon declared safe. Lexington firefighters responded to 415 gas leak calls last year. Thanks to a new grant, the bluegrass continues to get greener. Nearly 20 different organizations, including cities, schools, and nonprofits, are doing their part to make the bluegrass echo friendly. Louisville Gas and Electric Company and Kentucky Utilities are awarding new funding for tree planting projects each year through its Plant for the Grant program. The program, which awards between $500 and $5,000 to organizations with a history of successful tree plantings, is expected to add more than 1,500 trees to the landscape. Applications will be accepted in February, June, and October. We're just a week and a half away from the 148th running of the Kentucky Derby, and a central Kentucky business has a unique option for people celebrating at home. It's Woodford Reserve's Derby in a Box. Each kit includes a Woodford Reserve mint julep cup, along with all you need to make the classic Derby cocktail. For each box sold, a donation goes to Old Friends Farm, a nonprofit where famed thoroughbreds, including past winners, retire. Only 148 boxes are available. Buyers can also choose between a custom derby bow tie or scarf. You can go to woodfordreserve.com for more information. And a reminder to stay with Fox 56 for Special Oaks and Derby coverage. Don't miss Spirit of the Derby next Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. We'll have trackside tips on who could win the run for the roses, plus hats and cocktails for the perfect party. That's next Friday at 7. Well, it was a wild day down on the diamond at Wild Health Field as elementary students got to take a field trip to watch the Lexington Legends play ball for Education Day. Today's game was against the Pennsylvania team Yawk Revolution. You can see the stands were filled. Announcers went around and gave shout outs to each school that came out. There were about 4,000 kids watching the game today, not just from Fayette County, but also surrounding counties including this group of first graders from Scott County's Creekside Elementary. I really like it, and also I used to play baseball, and then I quit. I can't remember why, but it feels good to watch these people playing baseball. Well, I like how everybody is chanting, and also I like big L in the baseball. <laughs> Looks like a good time. Well, for the Lexington Legends next program to tomorrow, it's college day, and there will be $5 admission for students.
All right, folks, one more dry day ahead before rounds of some showers and storms take aim at the Commonwealth through the weekend. We're going to have more on what is a busy forecast ahead coming up. Going on now at Ashley. Buy one, get one half off store wide. Buy this upholstered sofa and get the matching love seat 50% off. Don't miss it. This week only at Ashley. I love my new home. I always wanted a house with historic architecture, but it might be too Victorian. Hey, gosh, interesting hemline on those pants. Yes, I do believe they're called pants. Pardon me. No, pardon me. At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. I save so much. I have come to call upon... Just text me. Ah. While I'm heading up. <gasps> it's a ghost. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. It's called self-care. Hold on to your napkins, cheeseburger fans. DQ is taking taste buds for an all-out flavor ride with the new signature stack burger menu featuring five, yes, five, mouth-wowing cheeseburgers with 100% real seasoned beef. Like the loaded A1 stack burger with two amazing premium sauces and the spicy flamethrower stack burger with oh hello jalapeno bacon. So tell your taste buds to buckle up and try the new DQ signature stack burger menu today. Get it delivered at DQ.com. DQ, happy taste good. Grandma? Up for a road trip? <sighs> yeah. What do you say we pack our things and get out of here? I've been saving all my life just to disappear And I hold you to that We could see the world 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 See the world Plan your trip at Ohio.org Good night, good night. <laughs> Every time You think she's still awake? Don't worry Stealth mode? Yeah Okay, shh, shh. Don't PT meetings end at 9. Oh, Red. got lost. Wait, what'd you guys talk about? The um, Max. libraries. Fine, you can drive to practice this weekend. <laughs> well, it's easy. The Lexus RX, built for modern families. $1,500 lease cash available on 30-month 2022 RX lease programs. This week only at Ashley. Buy one, get one half off store-wide. Plus, visit us in-store and enter to win free groceries for a year. For a limited time only at Ashley. Another picture-perfect day today as some of that warm weather came back. Yeah, it wasn't bad out there at all. We hope you got out and enjoyed it because it's not going to stick around, right? Yeah, guys, listen, one more dry day ahead and then some big-time changes heading our way. The good news is temperatures will continue to climb. The downside of that is, well, rain and storm chances begin to increase. Today, yeah, beautiful day. Just absolutely gorgeous. Lots of blue skies, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures officially topping out at 67 degrees. That is four away from where we should be for this time of the year, coming in around 71. Look right outside the studio doors. Yeah, hard pressed to find a cloud in the sky today. It's been a beautiful day out there and temperature wise, a little cool to start things off. Areas of some patchy frost, but it did get much better this afternoon. And now this evening looks really, really good. Temperatures still hanging out in the 60s, even some upper 60s in some locations, including here in the metro along with clear skies and high pressure will continue to dominate our region's weather as we head through this evening into tonight. But notice some of the clouds showing up to our north and west. We'll see some clouds start to pass through and through the high cirrus clouds, the wispy clouds that start to build in as we head through late tonight and especially as we climb deeper into your Thursday. So let's talk about it heading through tonight into your Thursday morning. Most of us on the mainly clear side, it's well after midnight. Some of those high clouds start to stream in. The good news is we are staying nice and dry, but it will be cooler out there. Not as cold as what we were this morning, but on the cool side, temperatures, many locations, especially to our east, could be talking some mid and upper 30s, but also to those low 40s as we step outside the door especially here across the bluegrass region. Now we work through your Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon clouds continue to pass through. We'll call it partly sunny skies, but it's still mild. It's still dry and because of the clouds. That's OK. Temperature still rebounding nicely. Low and mid 60s across the bluegrass region, a little warmer to your south and southwest. Some of those locations could top out in the low 70s by tomorrow afternoon. The rain chances. Well, here come the changes with the forecast. 
Those scattered showers ramping up, especially late week and throughout the weekend, becoming likely Saturday night into your Sunday. And it looks like some shower and storm chances will be sticking around as we work into early next week as well. And here's a look at the rain chances as they return into your Friday afternoon. A few isolated showers will be possible, all because of this warm front slowly lifting across the Ohio Valley. But as it does so, it provides that spark for additional showers, especially through Friday night into your Saturday morning. Some dry time ahead through the day, especially Saturday afternoon. It's not a complete washout for your weekend, but another round of some showers and storms become a possibility Saturday night into your Sunday morning, all because of this cold front that will push through the area. So here's a look at the weekend forecast. As of right now, temperatures, they're climbing into the 70s for those afternoon highs. Not too bad, but if you do have some outdoor plans, well, plan accordingly because there are going to be some showers and storms that will be dotting the skies. All right, here's a look at that full seven day forecast. It's a busy one, especially late weekend into early next week. Temperatures hanging out in the 70s, but notice rain and storm chances will be likely once again as we look ahead to next Tuesday. That's a look at weather, though. Here's Mitch with sports. Well, thank you, Chris. There's going to be one less Calipari and Rupp Arena come fall. The latest on a new coaching venture for a former UK Hooper turned coach. Plus, commitments in top tens, it feels like recruitment season all over again for basketball. We'll catch you up on everything UK Hoops after this break. Take a swing at crime at the Bluegrass Crime Stoppers Golf Scramble held here at the prestigious Kearney Hill Golf Links. We're on the trail to raise money for the Crime Stoppers tip line. Let's chip away at crime Friday, May 20th. Register at BluegrassCrimestoppers.com. Fox 56, the weather authority, is sponsored by Fayette Heating and Air, committed to providing safe, professional, and courteous service to every customer every time. Fayette Heating and Air is your one-stop solution for your HVAC and plumbing needs. The reasons to treat yourself to a frozen drink from McDonald's go on and on. Now get frozen blue raspberry, wild cherry, or Coke for just $2. You're a champion. You're not a quitter. Quitters don't do what they're supposed to. Champions do. And you're a star. And you shine. That's what you do. That's what you do every day. experiences you have in here and even out here all started here because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression gmc awarded number one in sales satisfaction by jd power step up to gmc with zero percent financing on these gmc models visit your bluegrass gmc dealer today Solutions is your technology partner. Call or visit 46solutions.com for your complimentary tech consultation. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Get a McDouble, small fries, McChicken, or six-piece chicken McNuggets. Get two of the same or mix and match. The good, the bad, the cuddly, and a shocking number. There's six of them! An all-new Masked Singer, tonight on Fox. Now, Fox 56 Sports. The roster reconstruction continues for John Calipari's 2022 Kentucky basketball squad. The Cats have seen a few players find new homes through the transfer portal, while others have headed to the NBA draft. But with Oscar Shibwe returning next season, the Dominoes falling into place and today another one has landed in transfer Antonio Reeves the Illinois State transfer tweeted out he's joining BBN earlier today last season he filled up the stat sheet 20 points per game while shooting nearly 40 percent from three-point land he'll have two years of eligibility left despite having three seasons of college ball under his belt but no doubt an added scoring punch for the Wildcats and they might not be done coach Cal and the Cats are making a move on South Dakota State transfer Baylor Shireman, the kid, he shot 
46% from three last year, 43 in the year before. Charman has Kentucky in his top 10 schools as he winds down his re-recruitment process. According to Draft Express, he averaged 16 points per game last season, and he plans to announce his decision in the next two weeks, but reportedly wants to play for a national program. The bench, though, will have a different feel next season with new players and one less, ca well, one less Calipari, I should say, grad assistant, Brad Calipari joining Darren Kellogg on LIU Brooklyn's coaching staff, the son of the head bench boss. Brad will spread his wings after a season as an assistant with the Wildcats to begin his trek in the coaching ranks. Well, the price is going up for Zandon after he put together a fast finish in the Diamond Bluegrass Stakes the earlier this month right. at Keeneland. That was just the fourth start in his lifetime. Now he is second on the points leaderboard ahead of the Kentucky Derby with just 10 days to go before the run for the Roses. The road hasn't been easy for Zandon. In his last two races, he had to persevere through a few challenging trips. He was able to navigate through the traffic and finish well in the top three, both first in the Bluegrass and third in the Risen Star. But his trainer, Chad Brown, says those experiences and his horse's intelligence put together has prepared him for the Derby. Halfway through the race, I wasn't too happy about the education he was getting because he was in the rear. But uh, once he was able to get through and, and get up there in the last strides there, he, uh, I was relieved he, you know, he earned a spot in the Derby and that he left with that education. Although he's lightly raced, he has plenty of experience and uh, he just has all the tools um, and natural ability to get a mile and a quarter this time of year. And we'll be following the progress of the horses leading up to the Derby. Look at that. That's so nice. And don't miss the spirit of the Derby, an hour-long special right here on Fox 56 next Friday, live at Churchill Downs from 7 to 8 p.m. Local stories and tips for the run for the Roses. And just two days left at Keeneland. It's winding down already for that spring meet, but a uh, great time of year to yeah. just be... H horse lovers uh, <laughs> wait for this week, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, should we wait for this week? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, as we get into the weekend, rain and some storm chances will return. The good news is at least temperatures warm into the 70s for the weekend. All right. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. We're back tonight at 10. Have a great night.